Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois, and I am a Rod and Staff Union. I hope you're doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about several things that are coming up here, not the least of which is how confusing this is getting for you. If you're confused, believe it or not, you're sort of on track. If you feel like you've had a handle on things, there's a bit of a crossroads that always comes up before the season is going to change. And yet this does have a lot to do with what is returned to you already and hanging on, hanging on to it, hanging on to each other, feeling each other deeper, and also the love between what you could loosely say men and women, but this also in, will include lesbian, gay, trans, intersex, and people that I, they're not sure how they identify. They might say that they are queer, asexual, and yet there is love that exists between them and their true love. Okay. What is this about? Well, there's a, a lot having to do with internal conflict, acknowledgments, acknowledgments of who you are, who you yourself are, not just for your twin to acknowledge this, not just for your twin to respond or worse, react to whatever you've said to them. It's not about you giving up. It's about really in the deepest way, surrender. But what is surrender? Surrender really doesn't mean roll over and play dead like some of you are being exhorted to do. You're being exhorted to let go. What you let go of is you let go of the outcome of your human actions. Okay? In other words, if you do something and there's a reaction based on the third law of thermodynamics for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. If you push buttons and those buttons push you back, or push you, or tell you to go away, or something like that, that's not the optimal way. What this has to do with is interpreting, feeling, and in feeling, being accurate. Because you are closing the door on old relationships. This is forcing people to change, and there is a delayed reaction sometimes of the strife and the war mentality and the things that people have had to go through in other lives. What is this really? This is actually a point where I'm going to give you a card to tell you about it, but I just want to tell you a few other things about this. Your own accuracy is going to rely heavily on what you then choose to do because you will have to make decisions. What I want to let you know is this has already happened. It's very real. You're not imagining it. There's no going back. We've already closed the door at the lion's gate. That's the most important thing to know. What have we closed the door on? War, battle, and some of the biggest things that have happened between the masculine and the feminine. There's closure now. However, finishing it, concluding it, putting a stop to it, that's what people are still tripping around in. Those are the things that you can sometimes say, well, they didn't mean it that way. Okay, but how much are you supposed to sacrifice about that? And therein lies some of the internal conflict. How much do I hang on? How much do I continue to do and do and do and do the work? But what if you were to learn how to properly surrender? That is what I teach. What if you were to learn some things to do on a daily basis that not only bring you back closer together, back together, align yourself where your dreams and wishes propel you in that direction? That's what I teach. What if you were to get your channels open so that you have optimal health? Now, this is affecting a lot of people physically through physical illness, ailments, frailties, feelings that are mental, physical, emotional, psychological, and can affect you in many ways. 
that's across the board. You could sit down a number of people or you could listen to the radio or the TV and hear anything from dry eye symptoms, bipolar relief, depression relief. And as you may or may not be aware, a lot of that has to do with being connected to another person. However, if the person affected by it really can't put it into context, what do you do about that? You still help them. And that's where the surrender comes in. That is where you may be doing something that is actually much more helpful than some of the same old things that you've been doing or the same old things that you're exhorted to do out there. We exhort you to give up. But what does that exactly mean? Give up. Turn your back. We know that it's what it's meant in the past. What it has meant is going backwards. Going back because you don't know what else to do and picking up with, you know, this or that thing. For some people, it's even meant becoming a monk, becoming a nun, when the thing that you really, really want isn't available to you. What do you do with all the lives of unrequited love? Is that what you're here for? Absolutely not. You are here to requite your love. You are here to congeal it together. You are here to be real with it. And that involves really living. That involves really living, interpreting, feeling, being accurate, making changes. It involves making real change. Now, a lot of changes have already taken place. We're starting to see it play out properly. We're starting to see things that get addressed that have been hidden behind closed doors. That's a lot of those series of new moons we've had since 2016. Not that we haven't had new moons before that. It's just that since some of you have been on this journey since 2016, it's taken a lot of that underground work and the above ground work to now have it show up in your physical life. So no, you don't give up now. I'm telling you right now, do not give up at this point. Keep going. Keep going. And in fact, start to take this seriously because you will be closer to each other than you may even realize. Now, what we talked about in my class yesterday, I had an online class which is still ongoing. It's bi-weekly. We meet every Sunday and Tuesday for five weeks. So this is intended to carry you through October. What do you do? Well, one of the things that uh, did get discussed is how things ebb and flow with life. Life will always have ebbs and flows. Okay, you could take, for example, some natural disasters, hurricanes, floods, volcanoes, earthquakes. Okay, what happens when there's that type of crisis? You have a crisis at this level. Everyone sets their differences aside and it's all hands on deck. Everyone pitches in. But what happens when life gets back to normal? People start backbiting, they get snipey. Some people look for the drama. That's not gonna cut it anymore. It is not gonna cut it for your physical union. So regardless of whether you are living with your twin, which some people are, or you're not living with your twin, there are certain things that are just not going to cut it for what you're really here for. You're here to integrate the 5D template of relationship for living. Wow. What's that, Patricia? Well, what that is, is a new way of living. It's actually your opportunity for a new life, which answers some of the question where you'd say, how am I ever going to forget this person that I've been with for 15 years? How am I going to forget just, am I just supposed to forget the parent of my children? I mean, we had a long time together. They're a good person. It actually does work where you forget things about it you actually are able to put the past in the past. And that is what the closing the door is about. It's to give your union a genuine, brand new, fresh start opportunity to be real and real successful. Okay, real success. Not just imaginary, not just up here in some other dimension, but here. And yes, there are people doing it. And those people have cared enough to say, I would rather be with that person than I don't know what the alternative is. But they made that decision. I encourage you to make the same decision. 
I'd rather be with the person that I'm really connected to. That's a good decision right then and there. You may not know how, you may not know what, you're finding out what some of it involves. And a lot of it involves your body. It involves your body so much that that's where you're feeling it. You are going through such a thorough purification that it isn't even funny sometimes. And yet, the beauty part of it is, is that's what's offered here. That is exactly why we're doing it here. It's to make everything brand spanking spiffy new. Now, some of the other things that I discuss in my online class, okay, you might say, well, I actually do make suggestions of different supplements for people to take to help them ease through these time patches of whatever you're going through. And I do customize it. I give you some ways to do that. I open the floor for question and answer. That is in my online class. Now, I am also doing a California class. That is live and in person. I will be there for three and a half days in Los Angeles. So if you're in California, if you're in the area, if you're in Arizona, or if you are in um, Hawaii and it's easy for you to get there, if you're in Colorado, or like me, I'm coming from Chicago, the fl it's not a bad flight. It's not even a bad price for a flight. Come to California. This is the beginning of me teaching people to be the next level of healers. And not only that, even if you don't intend to become that type of healer, you're going to learn a lot of the basics that you need for your twin flame brand new life with each other, okay? Learning and gleaning some things from videos like this, that's all well and good, but it doesn't get you in depth in the same way, nor is it hands-on. This is hands-on, and I'm going to say it right here and now, being uh, the master teacher that I am, that is what I'm here to do. I've been doing it for quite a while. I have quite a bit of material. I've made it very concise and simple. I've already started doing this. There are already people who have benefited from this. And so if you're doing something already related to this, consider it. Because if you want to get yourself to the next level, come and join. Come and join. I have a special link to reserve your spot if you want. And this is uh, starting on a um, Friday. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then part of Monday. And it is going to be in Culver City at a place called The Gateway. Now, because I've started this already years ago, I started, and I got my first tarot book when I was 12 years old. I actually also have been doing some type of body work since I was 17. And then again at 19, and my studies in college have had to do with the body. But I am the metaphysician. I am able to feel not just one person, both people. Now, this is not something that everyone can do. And yet I'm also teaching people to do this. Where do you feel on someone? How do you get it moving? What if it's internal? Okay, because twin flames share connections that are internal that only twins can access. That's another misconception that you know, you can't, you don't have to do anything yourself. Sometimes you're the only one that can do something for yourself and you have to do it from the inside out. And some of you are getting a little taste of it right now because you're in a form of isolation or it's forcing you to review and look and ask and you may not know what else goes with that, okay? There are things that you can do there are channels that connect you to you and your twin that help you circulate and reciprocate the love. Now, that's what I'm hearing from a lot of people. I talk to my twin, but it's not reciprocal. Is your tank being filled? Are you doubting that you're on a twin flame journey? Are you even doubting who you are? Because those doubts will play ping pong with you and your twin. If you doubt it, your twin will doubt it. And then you'll go back and forth because then the doubt will ping back to you. 
then you'll sit there and, and really believe that doubt. And then it'll go back again. And pretty soon it's going there until finally you go, wah, 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 wah. and what do you have to do to bring things up again? Come and see me. Okay. I do readings. I do chat, spirit chat. I do energy work and I work with the subtle bodies in person, live and in person. So either join my online class or I do have a suggestion down below of several pre-recorded webinars that would be helpful for you. If you're able to join live, I encourage you to do that. If not, I will have other classes that I'm doing live in the Chicago area and around the country before I plan to get to Europe next year. Now, let's say you have, you know, two people and they're together. OK, but they kind of keep wavering and, you know, they're trying to do things in an old paradigm way. One of them is starting to catch on and say, you know what? I don't think this is working. I don't know, but I don't know how to budge you. And the other one is not even aware that they need some budging on something. How do you get the changes? But what is happening is he's feeling things in his body. He's feeling things and he's going, oh, dude, I don't feel okay. My stomach's hurting. Oh, I think I know what that's related to because I'm feeling it. And, but I don't know what to do. After all, it's his body. Ah, here's where it differs. You are connected to each other. So the things that you feel that may or may not be yours, or maybe you can't even tell, is it yours? Interpreting. How are you interpreting things? How are you able to feel it? And how are you able to be accurate about it? Okay. What if you have another person? Okay. And they have some really, really, really great ideas. Okay. They have some really great ideas. Okay. He's got some great ideas. Hey, I've got some great ideas and, you know, all the financial stuff. I think we could kind of get up, get things improved here. You know what? My dad had great ideas and nothing ever really panned out. And my mom was all upset. And no, I think that's just not what, well, you have no faith in me. You have no, you know, I have really something great. I think it can really take off. Oh, I just, I don't know. I don't know. So these are more like mental and emotional, and it has to do with finances, and it has to do with family, and on and on and on and on. And how does he start to get all of those obstacles collapsed so that they can move forward, okay, and start doing by being who they are? These are the real life things. These are parts of the ebb and flow of life. These are parts of, you know, being the hermit and being, you know, out there with things. And how are you able to transition yourself as gracefully as possible? How do you create? How do you dismantle properly? Okay, those are some of the things we're going to talk about in my online class, which has to do with some of the grid work, how to clear, how to keep things moving what it means because there's a really huge thing happening in the love between the masculine and the feminine okay and this this doesn't matter if you're lesbian gay trans intersex queer asexual it doesn't matter those energetics are there there's a really big thing happening okay and it's called equality there is an equalizing force that a lot of people are unaware of. And a lot of people are so tired, frankly, I can hear you saying, I think I just wanna go home. I think I just wanna lay down. And I think I wanna just, you know, call it a day. You might not wanna give up, but you're tired. And I understand that. And there are things to do even when you're tired. There are ways to be who you are so that you not only refresh, but you re-energize yourself. There are ways to stop being so empathic where it feels like everyone is affecting you. There are ways to stop some of the mental patterns from repeating. Self-deprecation, self-esteem. 
There are ways to do that. So I will be discussing much of this in my online class. We will touch on some of it in the California class, but this is going to be very hands-on. Those are two things coming up. Please join me for a reading or a chat or some energy work on your subtle bodies. You have several subtle bodies and you may not know what they all do, but I can feel them and I can feel just by you talking to me a little bit where things are at. Okay. And by now you might understand you're connected. Okay. Why be dragged through the mud? Why be dragged behind someone's pickup truck? Why make yourself feel like this is just dragging, draining, uh, confusing, causing internal conflict, leaving you at a crossroads? Come on and get up and out of it, okay? So I'm going to show you a card that can summarize this, okay? This is not a common card that people would show you. Okay, now, how are you going to interpret this? Are you the fool? Or are you pure and innocent again? And ready, and in the best sense of the word, are you at another zero point? Are you at another point? where it's time for fresh and new. Fresh and new starts with a sense of humor and a sense of life flowing for you again, okay? Or are you going to take the stance that you're being made a fool of? You know, and if that's the case, I guarantee you it's coming from somewhere it still needs to be gotten rid of. You gotta get rid of it, okay? You're not here, you didn't come here as a fool, okay? You came here as an angel. You came here to be able to close the door. You came here to make change. All of these great things and getting yourselves into alignment so that you're on the same wavelength, not mentally on the same page because a lot of this will just not be in the mind. Okay, those questions used to happen too. What's my twin thinking? Well, honestly, if I told you what they were thinking, okay, I'd be reading their mind, not their heart. Although that can happen because some people are getting the mind read from other people, okay? You can even read your own mind because it's going to ping right back to you. If it's something that is, you know, something that you need to do or feel you should do, you can get that also. So... To summarize here, I want to let you know that a lot of the breakdowns that are happening are really so that love can come back to you, fill your cup, and bring you to where you need to belong, to help you to feel what you need to feel and not feel the things that you shouldn't feel, and be in love again. That's what you're here for. You're here to be lovers. You're not here as adversaries. You're not even here as strangers, even though sometimes it can feel that way at times. And there's reasons for that too. So come and join, either join my California class or my online class. The links are below. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you to everyone who has joined. Thank you to everyone who has been in my classes. It's been my distinct pleasure to get to know all of you and to actually learn how you are, to hear your beautiful love stories. Everyone has a love story. And don't forget it. Some of you are writing it. I look forward to the new material. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful day. Look for the links below or reach out to me either on my website, twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. You can write to me or twinflamesmerge.com. I'm going to just make a comment here. I have people that say, I was very moved to tell you my story, Patricia. What you're being moved to do is have a session, okay? It, I can't do anything for you if you just tell me a story. I, I need to hear the vibration of your soul in your voice when you're telling me. That's how it works for me, okay? That 
speaks volumes. Okay. It's not that I'm not saying I don't want your story. What I'm saying is that you're actually being prompted to take this to the next level. So that's me helping you be more accurate, be more accurate with yourself, with actually getting some of the next level assistance that you need. We're talking very high level. The fifth dimension is not ever going to be again for old relationships or war or strife and struggle. Okay. The fifth dimension is not going to be for being someone's babysitter or enabler or something like that. So really consider this when you're getting upset about the way things are. If you're upset, that might be a good thing. And I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye now.